So there were hopes the inter-Korean summit this week would break the current stalemate between Pyongyang and Washington in their denuclearization talks, but it may not be as rosy as many had hoped. Our Lee Ji-won tells us why. The United States is standing firm that no concessions can be made to North Korea in the absence of denuclearization. This is according to State Department spokesperson Heather Nauert on Thursday, who was speaking at a press briefing as South Korean President Moon Jae-in concluded his third inter-Korean summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The joint declaration the two Korean leaders signed says the North will take additional measures, such as the permanent dismantlement of its nuclear facilities at Yongbyon, should the U.S. take corresponding measures in accordance with the spirit of the June 12 Trump-Kim agreement. And to this, Nauert reiterated that the regime's denuclearization has to come first. Asked if Secretary of State Mike Pompeo wasn't jumping to conclusions by saying there would be inspectors from Washington and the IAEA, Nauert said it's a shared understanding that they have to be part of it. President Moon and also Chairman Kim did talk about inspectors, uh, of course. Uh, having IAEA inspectors and United States inspectors be a part of anything is really just a shared understanding. Uh, anytime you have a uh, nuclear situation like this uh, where there is a dismantlement, it, the expectation is uh, that IAEA inspectors would be a part of that. So that would just be a uh, normal course of doing business. Asked if the U.S. thinks the denuclearization part of the summit agreement was an achievement, Nauer said any sit-down the U.S. or South Korea has with the North is a step in the right direction to having regular dialogue. She added the U.S. sees the Pyongyang summit as progress and good news, stressing that Washington is prepared to engage immediately in negotiations if and when the North is ready. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.